Welcome to another edition of the Bonatraining.com video series. In this video, we will be discussing and demonstrating the steps and best practices for applying Bona dry fast stain to a wood floor with the buff on and buff off application method. Applying stain to a newly sanded hardwood floor doesn't have to be a labor-intensive, on your hands and knees, dripping sweat all over the floor kind of affair. Learning how to apply stain with a buffer can be a life and business changing moment. Not only from the standpoint of being upright and letting the machine do most of the work, but also because it alleviates the tendency to oversaturate the floor with stain, particularly down in the seams and soft grain, which can lead to finish adhesion issues down the road. Let's take a closer look at this rediscovered old school method using modern day materials and machines. Of course, before you begin and walk on your freshly sanded floor, clean off the bottoms of your shoes or boots or put on surgical booties to prevent tracking in dirt, debris, and other possible contaminants. Mix your stain thoroughly to dissolve any pigment that might have settled to the bottom of the can. This would also be the time to batch together multiple units of stain into a larger container. If that's one of your best practices for larger jobs or when using different batch numbers of the same stain color. In addition, remove the brush ring from your flexi sand buffer to prevent stain from contaminating and ruining the bristles. Vacuum off any residual dust from the underside of the buffer chassis and drive plate. Then position the buffer in your starting area and plug the unit into an appropriate 115 volt power supply. Next, attach the 16-inch drive plate and a 16-inch bone and conditioning pad to your FlexiSand. These will be used to drive the carpet circle and cleaning bonnet during the stain application process. Place a new carpet circle on the floor, carpet side facing up, and pour one and a half to two cups of stain into the center. Turn the carpet circle over in your starting area and center your FlexiSand buffer on top of it. Begin buffing stain onto the wood floor, moving in the same direction as the flooring runs, in a three to four foot deep section down the length of the floor. As you're going, use the soft grain in the wood floor to judge full color penetration and to know when more stain needs to be added to your carpet circle. When you have applied stain to a full length section of the floor, remove the carpet pad from the bottom of your flexi sand and place it, carpet side up, where the next pass will take place. Position the carpet bonnet on the bottom of the flexi sand and thoroughly buff off any excess stain from the section that you just completed. Move on to the next section by adding more stain to the carpet circle and apply it to your next run down the floor, slightly overlapping the previous section to blend and feather the two areas together. Then use the carpet bonnet to remove any excess stain from this last run, again overlapping the previous sections to blend and feather. Continue working in full length sections using the buff on and buff off method until the entire floor is complete. When exiting the room, take care not to get stain where it wasn't meant to go. Tilt the buffer back on a protected surface, remove the used carpet circle or cleaning bonnet, and double check your shoes, hands, and clothing for unexpected stain before walking on or touching any unprotected surfaces. Most accidents can be cleaned up immediately using fresh mineral spirits on a clean rag. Stain can then be applied to the edges and detail areas by hand using a brush, rag, or cut-in pad material. You may want to wear surgical booties to walk on the newly stained floor, and may also want to use a piece of cardboard or other protective material to kneel on and work from. Carefully cut in the edges and detail areas, feathering into the field to blend. Don't apply the stain too heavy or too far out into the field, as we're only trying to get what the buffer missed while blending the edges and field areas of the floor and thoroughly wiping off all excess stain from the surface. Use the system as fully as possible to minimize the harder work like cutting in. We didn't pay attention to getting as close to the wall as the buffer allows in this area, leaving a lot more for our cut-in technician to take care of. Even when being extra careful, Accidents can happen and stain ends up where it wasn't intended. On non-absorbent surfaces, Bona Dry Fast Stain can easily be cleaned up with fresh mineral spirits on a clean rag. Once dried, it can also be removed, but may require a bit more effort and mineral spirits. 
After you finish cutting in the edges and detailed areas, you may need to make a final pass with your FlexiSand buffer and the used still wet carpet circle or cleaning bonnet. Do this to remove and blend out any footprints and application marks in the stain, working from your starting wall and backing out to your exit point. Tilt the buffer back in your staging area and remove the used carpet circle or bonnet. Remove your surgical booties and clean any stain residue off of and dry the soles of your shoes before walking off the protected staging area onto other flooring surfaces. You will also need to pay attention to and clean off any stain that might have gotten onto the buffer's power cord, wheels, tools, or other work surfaces. To reseal any leftover dry fast stain, first clean excess stain out of the rim recess. Then firmly press the lid back onto the can to seal and preserve the unused product inside for future use or repairs. As a best practice, add the stain color, batch numbers, dry times, and any other job specific details into your job record. Individually lay out the stain soaked carpet circles, cleaning bonnets, wiping rags, and any other contaminated materials to dry or place in a water-filled container to prevent spontaneous combustion and lay out to dry individually back at your shop. Once dry, dispose of these used materials in accordance with local laws and regulations. Before coating the stained floor with bonus seal or finish, let it dry for the recommended amount of time, with box fans set up in the doorways to assist with airflow as a best practice. Well, that wraps it up for our demonstration on how to apply Bona Dry Fast Stain using the buff on and buff off method. For further information, visit bonatraining.com or call our technical services department at 800-872-5515. Thanks for watching and for your interest in Bona products.